Hey Housecast, welcome to tonight's Big Brother update. I mean, recap. Brian <laughs> was out last time, and the new head of household is Jesse. I don't like him. I don't either. And he has a vendetta against Sweet Rennie. He won't get over the whole, like, her waking him up thing. She apologized. And she wasn't doing it on purpose. She was scared. I hate She's that. She's old. I hate that. Respect. So the house is divided oh, between yeah. the people who like Ryan and don't like Brian. It's kind of like BB-8 when the uh, yeah. whole house was split when right down the middle. Nick left. Right. So, Memphis and Jesse, after Jesse wins the HOH, have a little moment in the storeroom. They do. I'd say it was gay, but that would be an insult to gay people. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we love gay people. Okay, so, yeah, their alliance is basically Memphis and Jesse, Libra, Ollie, well, no. Michelle, and April. There's an even tighter alliance. Right. There's an alliance of four with Memphis, Jesse, Michelle, and Angie. Right, but in general, for right now. It's like half the house. Yeah. So, it's time for the HOH room. Ew. Guess what? Jesse loves Jesse. There was like <laughs> two pictures of him with his family, and the rest were him in like poses. Yeah. It was like, oh my god, can you believe that picture? I was like 15 pounds lighter there, and my abs were like totally popping out. And, and then like I was talking about like about muscles <sighs> and all this crap, and everyone was Everybody's like, sitting there with crickets. We don't They're care. all like, yeah. What? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Exactly. So, Steven didn't come up to see the room. No. He said he was sleeping, but then they saw him on the spy cam walking around. Yeah. Well, Jesse really wants Rennie out because they had a little meeting in the HOH room yeah. of the larger alliance. And it was awkward because they waited until Jerry left, so before right. he left, they were like... <laughs> Get out, Jerry! I don't like that. No. So, he wants Rennie out bad, but everybody else, I think, wants Angie out. Yeah. Or Steven or somebody right. like that. They're like, we'll get running out later. <laughs> so, Jerry, tell us a little story about your wife. Aww. That was so touching, the way he was sitting there telling Angie and Libra about his wife. He really loves her. Yeah. And uh, he just wants to take care of her. And I could see that he's doing this so that he'll be able to take care of her. Mm -hmm. And be able to spend a lot of time with her. Because, as everybody knows, she's got Parkinson's. So that's nice, Jerry. Yes. So... It's time for a school lesson. Steven educated Dan on what it's like to be gay. And Dan was an adult about it. I was proud of him. I was too. Very good job, Dan. I didn't think you'd ever not be an F nut. I thought he'd be like, oh, you're going to hell. Don't yeah. Know. But he didn't. He was cool. He was like, Steven's my friend. Mm -hmm. It was nice. So, Jesse drags Angie up to the HOH room. And he's like, girl, what were you doing last week? Because that was not cool. It, w it was almost like domestic violence. <laughs> he's, he's like, what do you think, I'm stupid? <laughs> do you think we're all stupid? He, he wanted people to think he was stupid, but he's not really stupid. Then he went into like, oh, well, I could beat everyone here, here at chess, but like I'm not because I want them to think I'm dumb. I, what are you a little, talking about? a little psycho. Maybe it's the natural steroids. Maybe. Okay, so, Steven and Keisha. Oh, what a bunch of sweeties. Oh. Oh, they were talking about their dogs, and everybody knows that we're dog people and cat yeah. people. And uh, I love seeing that. I it wish. My dog. I wish they could have a big brother where you could bring your dog. That'd be cool. That would be cool. All right, so it's time for the food competition. Woo! Who's going to be eating slop this week? We'll find out. Well, Jesse comes out with this giant Tom Selleck mustache, and he's like, Oh, la la, do you want the Chardonnay team, or do you want the Pinot Noir team? So it was green team and red team, and it was basically split depending on like where you were sitting. On the couch. Yeah. So it's very important where you sit. So the green team consisted of Ali, Jesse, Angie, Michelle, Dan, and Steven. And the red team was Keisha. Libra, Rennie, Jerry, Memphis, and April. So, April and Libra were a little possessed. Before the challenge even started, they were like, We are both old people. This is not fair. I know. The team should be more even. No two old people on one team. That's messed up. 
Yeah, they're always complaining, and they're always like got this angry face on. They're mm -hmm. o April's always April like, just looks like a mean person, a mean son of a April. So, so the challenge <laughs> is called Stop Your Whining, oh. and each team has three catchers, two pluggers, and one thrower. And no, it's not dirty. So there's wine in barrels, and these barrels are huge too because yeah. they have to fit like two people. The throwers have to find the corks, and they throw them up to the people who are in the barrel, who plug it, and then there's other people who are under the other team's barrel trying to catch the wine to get as much as they can to fill their wine bottles. So as the pluggers are plugging the holes, less wine is coming out, so right. you really want to plug up your team's barrels quick. Well, barrel. Yeah. So whoever captures more wine from the other team is going to have food for the week. And they only have five minutes. I know. I that thought went, it was a lot longer Yeah, than it that. seemed a lot longer. So April really sucked this at throwing the corks up to the barrels. That barrel was huge, and she didn't... Uh, she was having a tough she time was just making like, it. Uh, Dan, on the other hand... She wasn't even looking. He was Dan was it doing out. great. He was like Rennie telling was doing them great. when he was going to throw it, and he was making it, and it was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Even Rennie was doing great, mm -hmm. the so-called oldie. Okay, so the green team wins. Mm -hmm. They won by a lot, too. Yeah, they got food for the week. And April and Libra, who were on the red team, were pissed. Yeah. So again, they were like, it's not fair. <laughs> we had the Aldis. We, we had us cork first. It didn't look like they had, like, any corks. I know. <laughs> so Dan, being the sneaky snake that he is, decides that he wants to talk to Jesse. So he's like, dude, can I, can I go use the bathroom? But Jesse didn't know this. <laughs> so, yeah. So he's up there in the bathroom. They probably thought he, like, died up there. He was they up totally there for a long forgot. time. <laughs> they totally forgot. And uh, finally, uh, Jesse went up to the HOH room, but unfortunately he was with Ollie. Yeah, because Dan was waiting up there the whole time watching right. the spy screen, like, Jesse, come up here. Right, so they hear the toilet flush, and they're like, somebody in my bathroom? Who's in my bathroom? And he's like, what are you doing in my bathroom, <laughs> Mr. No Neck? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... He's like, uh, dude, I was having a problem. Is that okay? <laughs> I can't go when there's people around. Yeah, so uh, that totally blew it. So uh, time goes by, and we find out that Memphis was messed up. Yeah. Not only by his father, because like he didn't know him really, and then he got to know him, and then he died, but by a girl who like he was totally into, but she did not like him that much, and he wasn't what she wanted, so she totally hurt his feelings. So he's, like, emotionless, but right. he does show emotion with his girlfriend. All right, so Dan finally gets his chance to talk to Jesse. He's like, dude, I'm showing I have loyalty by voting for Brian last week, but I'm not going after you, so... I know you might put me up. I'm cool with that. Do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know what the point of that was, but... You're going to go anyway, Dan. Mm -hmm. So, it's time for the nominations. Okay, welcome to the nomination ceremony. Uh, obviously, I nominate you, Dan, and you, Steven. Uh, you guys showed your cards way too early. And, uh, you didn't come up to see my room, Steven. What's wrong with you? Dude, I was sleeping. Dude, you had 24 hours. Were you sleeping for 24 hours? You didn't come up. That's messed up. You hurt my feelings. You hurt my... Um, you're turning me into a girly man. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm immature, and I'm from Iowa, but I think head of household is pretty good for an immature guy from Iowa. Don't you think so? Oh, my God, look at that. You can't even get all 18 inches of that in the camera. Whatever. So Psycho! You get that, <laughs> Dan and Steve are on the block. That's right. And Jesse is an official F-nut. Yeah. So, kids, until Tuesday. Much, Much love. love.